Beethoven's second published string quartet, his Opus 18 number no. 2, is in the friendly open key of G major. It is a witty and humorous piece of music that never takes itself too seriously. Even while we hear the indelible impact of Mozart and Haydn, for example, their wit and humor, their usage of the scherzo for middle movement, turns of phrase and subversions of expectations, the language is unmistakably Beethoven's. Beethoven was a serious student of the past, not only learning how to write for the string quartet medium, but also gaining an understanding of how and where he could expand and exploit elements of form, structure, and harmony. The first movement opens gently, a musical question inviting a response. All is tidy, proper, and good, a very classical eight-measure phrase, and ends gently. Then comes a Beethovenian outburst, which is answered immediately in the same way the second measure was back in piano. The movement continues on in a very classical, almost predictable way, but already we can hear those elements of Beethoven's language that will become much more defined a little later in his life. One example of how Beethoven is playing with form occurs in the first movement, at the beginning of the recapitulation. Normally in the recap, we hear the return of the first theme or motive in more or less the same character. However, Beethoven transforms this gentle question heard at the beginning into something much more declarative and even gives the cello the tune. For a subito piano, the cadence brings the phrase back to a gentle close. The second movement, marked Adagio Cantabile, starts as a slow lyrical movement with the lighter, more playful allegro middle section. The slower adagio music is a reference to the much more serious slow finale of Haydn's C major quartet, opus 54, number 2. It's almost as if Beethoven is taking his one-time teacher's music and poking gentle fun at it by refusing to take it too seriously. The third movement is a characteristically humorous scherzo with voices chasing and tumbling after each other, sometimes whispering, sometimes declarative, and ends affirmatively. The contrasting trio is more regal, but again, gracefully and humorously so, with triplets weaving and bobbing about. Finally, the last movement is an allegro molto quasi presto. The cello asks the question first with all the voices answering another tidy classical 16 measure phrase. It's really interesting to hear how Beethoven creates drama and humor within this traditional structure with some of his trademark techniques. His usage of subito dynamics, dramatic pauses, rhythmic drive and vitality, canonic layering, series of offbeat sforzandos, increased range of dynamics used in this moment to really maximize the sense of playfulness and humor. The piece ends rambunctiously with the question posed at the beginning answered completely in the affirmative. The sense of finality heightened by fermata placed over an empty bar of rest after the final two chords are heard. <laughs> 